In this video, we're going to take a look at a couple of unique power features with Adobe Connect, one called the prepare mode and the other called the presenter only area. Both of these allow hosts or hosts and presenters to do things that don't affect the participants in the regular meeting. Let's start by taking a look at prepare mode. Prepare mode can be accessed in one of two different ways. It's available in the meeting menu. If you are a host, you can go down from the meeting menu and select switch to prepare mode. It's also available in the layout bar, which may be docked either to the right or to the left, depending on your preferences. At the very bottom of the layout bar, there's a prepare mode icon. It is a screwdriver and wrench. And if I select that icon, it puts me into prepare mode. You'll notice a few things have changed with my screen. I get a bubble letting me know that I'm in prepare mode. And in fact, there is a blue sheen to all of the different pods in this particular layout. And that kind of mimics the blue sheen I've got, letting me know which of the layouts in the layout bar is the active layout. You'll also know, or also notice, that there is a black and yellow border around the layout that I'm looking at. So prepare mode enables me to move from layout to layout, for example, going from the sharing layout to the discussion layout, without affecting the meeting. The active layout in this meeting is still the sharing layout. And if we take a look at our participants' view of things, we've got Spiro in this meeting, Spiro is still seeing this sales presentation. He's still seeing the sharing layout as the active layout. So as a host, I can use this prepare mode to go and edit the rest of my meeting. I can change some of the layouts. I can even add new layouts and new content without affecting the live meeting. This is extremely helpful, particularly when you have more than one presenter. One presenter can be speaking on the active layout and another presenter can be working behind the scenes to edit his or her layouts, to upload new content, to even prepare things like a, a new Q&A layout for the end of the meeting. Now I am on a separate layout from the active layout. So the active layout is the sharing layout as we can see here and I'm on the discussion layout. And you may notice on this discussion layout some of these pods have got that blue sheen over them and other pods don't. The camera and voice pod in this case, the poll pod and the discussion pod, they all look fairly normal but the attendee list, chat pod and note pod all have this blue overlay on top of them. And Adobe Connect is telling us here, using this blue overlay, that these pods, these attendee list, chat, and note pods, are all being used in the active meeting. So that if I make any changes to the content of these pods, that will affect what's happening for the active layout. So as an example, I can go ahead and edit this discussion notes pod as much as I'd like. Let me add some more text. But if I add some text to the chat pod, for example, type in the, the message, hello world, somebody looking at the active layout in the sharing layout is going to see that message. So let's go again and take a look at what Spiro is seeing. He is still on the active layout. We haven't changed that, but he can see my message even though I was in prepare mode when I sent that message. So editing content in prepare mode can affect the live meeting. That's an important thing to know. And that blue overlay helps presenters and hosts ensure that they're not affecting the live meeting. Now, other changes that I might make, for example, changing the size of the notepad here or changing the position, that won't affect that active layout. If we go back to take a look at Spiro's meeting, none of the positioning or the sizes of those pods have changed at all. So it's really only the content that we need to worry about. And in fact, I can create a brand new layout inside of prepare mode without affecting the active layout, without affecting what's happening in the live meeting. So if I want to prepare for the end of this meeting, I might want to make a layout for our questions and answers. I can go ahead and create a brand new layout. I'm going to create one from scratch. We'll call this q and I'll click OK. And I can add pods, both that are being used on the active layout right now. So let's go ahead and bring in that Geometrics product overview. I'm not sure why we'd want this on our Q&A layout, but I just want to prove a point here as well as maybe some polls that we're not using on the active layout. So let's go and grab a poll. I'll resize that and we'll open that up so that when people come onto this layout, it's already opened. But again, if we take a look at Spiro's view of the world, things haven't changed. Now, even in prepare mode, remember if I'm changing content, including 
looking at the presentation and flipping slides in the presentation, because this has got a blue overlay, I am affecting the live meeting. And so I am affecting what Spiro and all of the other participants are seeing on the active layout. But this prepare mode is extremely helpful for helping those hosts edit the meeting without affecting the uh, rest of the participants. Now, once I'm finished with prepare mode, I want to go back to the active layout. And I can do that. I don't have to click on the active layout. The second that I click on the prepare layouts icon, that prepare mode icon, I'm automatically taken back to the active layout. And you can see here, I've no longer got that black and yellow border around any of the layouts. So anything I'm doing now will affect the live meeting. I'm no longer in prepare mode. Prepare, prepare mode is a great feature to help hosts work behind the scenes to edit the room during a live meeting. One of my other favorite behind the scenes features is something called presenter only area. And this is available both to hosts and presenters. And it's like a virtual backstage for your Adobe Connect room. It's an area of the meeting that you can't see right now, but it's only available to hosts and presenters. So let me turn on the presenter only area and I can do that from the meeting menu by going down to the presenter only area uh, action here and clicking enable presenter only area and you'll notice I've got a new section on my screen that's opened up and this section has got a black background even though we've got a custom background in our meeting this presenter only area has always got a black background you'll notice I've got quite a few pods in there right now it's a bit of a mess but if I change to what participants in this meeting are seeing they're not seeing that presenter only area. They have no idea that it exists. They can't see anything inside the presenter only area. And that means that the presenter only area is an ideal area for storing things like presenter notes, your agenda to keep yourself on track, even custom pods like a timer pod to help keep everybody on time. So let's take a look at how we can use that presenter only area. I'm gonna go back to my host, my own profile here. Uh, the first thing that you'll see is this presenter only area is completely flexible. I can make it as large or as small as I'd like. This doesn't affect the size of the presenter only area for other hosts or presenters in the meeting. They can all make their presenter only area as big or as small as they'd like. Any new pods I add to the meeting, by the way, once I've got this presenter only area open, those pods will always appear in the presenter only area. This is a great feature. It means if I want to add a poll to the live meeting, I can go up to the pods menu and select poll and click add a new poll. That poll will always appear in the presenter only area first. So participants aren't seeing this poll yet. It gives me as the presenter or the host of the meeting an opportunity to create this poll and then simply drag it out on stage. So let's again, take a look at Spiro's screen. He's not seeing the presenter only area, which means he's not seeing that poll that I've just added to my stage. Well, in fact, it's not on the stage yet. It's in the presenter only area. It's basically backstage. So now I can ask the question and one answer per line is how the polling pod works. So I'll just create a very quick poll here. I'll click open. Again, this is still not being seen by Spiro, even though I've opened the poll because it's backstage. Once I want all of my participants to see it, I simply drag it from the presenter only area, from the backstage to the main stage. And let's go now and take a look at the participant view. This poll is now available and Spiro can start answering the poll. So this presenter only area gives our presenters and hosts a backstage area. You'll notice there's a few different uh, pods that I've got back here because I've used this room before. It's persistent. Just like the main stage, anything you add to the presenter only area will also persist for future meetings. Again, this is ideal for things like presenter chat. This way we can have not only the main chat, which everybody can use on the main stage, but a special chat pod that only presenters can see. It gives presenters the ability to chat to the person that's speaking without all of the participants seeing. Incredibly valuable feature, particularly in webinars. I happen to have a web links pod on my presenter only area, so I can set this up for the end of the meeting. Uh, presenter notes, and again, this can be anything we want. This might be the agenda for the meeting to keep me on track. Uh, I can add a custom pod. Let me go ahead and add, um, we'll add a brand new share pod. 
Again, any new pod I add while the presenter only area is open will automatically be added to this presenter only area so that I can do my prep work in complete privacy. I can do all of this backstage and I will choose to share a document and I'm going to pick this custom pod here called Stage Lights. This is a pod that can be used to keep presenters on time. This light changes from green to yellow to red as the timer counts down. I can set this timer to whatever I'd like. This is perfect for something like a backstage area where somebody who's speaking can keep an eye on this giant light here to see whether she's got enough time left or not. And it's not something that's going to take up any space on the stage. It's not something that any of the participants are going to see because it's in the presenter only area. That's a quick look at a couple of my favorite power features inside of Adobe Connect, the prepare mode and the presenter only area. Thanks for watching.